Okay, so now we're ready to go and look at our list file, the file with all of our analyses. So we're going to go into our local disk C and come down to PQ method. And if we look down here, remember our full our file is called QW2012. So here's all of our files. And I'm going to look for the one that's called list. Here's the one that we made earlier, which we saved as a notepad uh, file called PCA Verimax with two factors. Right, and now we're looking for, in fact, our, on, our list file, which I think might be this one. That's the raw file. Sometimes it's really nice and it shows me things, and sometimes it's not so nice. That's the statement file. Unrotated file. Of course, I'm going to have a hard time finding it. There's our list file. So I've already made it so that it should open with Notepad. Right? <clears throat> it's just open with in the land of PCs. And here is our file. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Page Setup. And hopefully it'll come up here. Come on. There it is. And the default is portrait. I'm going to make it landscape because it really is printed on paper like it should be landscape. And I say OK. And now I'm going to say file. I'm going to save as. I'm going to keep the same beginning part so I remember what it is. And this one happens to be centroid and hand rotation, right, two-factor solution. And I put, might put my name and the date. Sometimes I do that. And I hit save. <clears throat> and this is going to look like a lot like the file that we checked out earlier. Right? Where we... Um, little music in my background today. <clears throat> I'm going to come over here and I'm going to print this as a PDF. It just... I like to do that because I can annotate it. Right, so I have a University of Akron printer or a computer so I can make everything um, PDFs, which I like a lot. I like PDFs. <clears throat> and it's going to create my PDF. So here it is. I like the PDF mostly because, like I said, I can annotate it. It makes it a lot easier for me. So here's our correlation matrix. So we can kind of skip through there. There's the unrotated factors. Hold on. I like to do view and enable scrolling because otherwise it's kind of obnoxious. Here are my factor loading. So I like to highlight a few things. Right. So Here's my two-factor solution, right? We can see it maybe a little better than we could on PQ Rotate. It actually looks pretty good. And then we have a number of other things, rank statements. Okay. I'm going to kind of come through here. Here's the correlation between our factors. And that also looks very nice. And then... The next thing we have here is the normalized factor scores for factor one. This just tells us um, something about right the representative sort actually for this particular view. So I could use my typewriter if I wanted to. So right here, this would be the same. So the first one would be the first plus five. And then we have the next plus five. And the next plus five, we had four of these. And then the next one is plus four, plus four, plus four. And there were four of these, right? So that gives me just an idea of what those most agree statements might be. <clears throat> Actually doesn't, if I remember right, doesn't look horribly different than our Verimax solution with uh, principal components. I can come down here to, I don't know why it often does this, but here is my minus, so this would be my negative 